in yet another attempt to control every aspect of your life, the federal government has come up with a truly innovative program. The federal government is planning to implement legislation dubbed V2V, Connected Vehicle Communications, to be mandated on all private and commercial vehicles. The U.S. DOT Secretary, Anthony Fox, stated earlier this year that the planning and implementation program is a year ahead of schedule. One of the last bastions of personal freedom we had left, being travel, where we go, and how we get there, is now going to be under scrutiny and control if this legislation is passed by a technocratic society. All vehicles on the road being controlled, of course, for your safety by vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications. So what is V2V communications? In short, V2V or vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communications takes autonomous cars to a whole new level. The Connected Vehicle Safety Pilot is a research program that demonstrates the readiness of DSRC or dedicated short-range communications up to one-half mile based connected vehicle safety applications for nationwide deployment. The vision of the Connected Vehicle Safety Pilot Program is to test connected vehicle safety applications in real-world driving scenarios in order to determine their effectiveness at reducing crashes and to ensure that dev devices are safe and do not unnecessarily distract motorists or cause unintended consequences. Hmm, we'll get into that more in a minute. The National Highway Transportation Safety Authority states it's committed to improving safety and mobility on our nation's roadways. As we look ahead to the next stage of roadway safety in America, vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle or V2V communication technology shows great promise in transforming the way Americans travel. In other words, they will dictate how you travel, and they'll do it by algorithms in vehicles communi communicating over open networks on open source based platforms. Goes on to say that using V2V technology, vehicles ranging from cars to trucks and buses to trains could one day be able to communicate important safety and mobility information to one another that can help save lives, prevent injuries, ease traffic congestion, there's the global warming component, and improve the environment, and there's global warming component number two. In other words, leave the driving to them. Because obviously over the past 100 to 110 years where people have been taking themselves from point A to point B, the government in their technocratic world has decided they can do it better. Quote, we are carrying the ball as far as we can to realize the potential of transportation technology to save lives, said the U.S. Transportation Secretary, Anthony Fox. This long-promised V2V rule is the next step in that progression. Hmm. Once deployed, V2V will provide 360-degree situational awareness on the road and will help us enhance vehicle safety. Now, I guess Mr. Fox is not aware that highway crashes and transportation fatalities are down considerably over the last five years without even deploying any such artificially intelligent technology. Make no mistake, these vehicles will be driven by artificial, generated,